Hey guys, uh, Yasha. So we will be starting with our code today, but I will just walk you through uh, what's the trick here. Now, uh, this is our home screen. So what happens is whenever we uh, click uh, temperature on segment and then press go, what we will be doing is we will change this uh, first and second to Celsius and Fahrenheit. So and yeah, uh, we forgot to put a text field here. So we will be doing that today. And uh, yeah, that's the trick. So if you press currency and you press go, then uh, here it will show dollars and uh, here it will show my uh, home country's currency, which is Indian rupees. And same goes for length. So let's get started. First of all, uh, we will add a text field. Uh, I'll get rid of this. Let's look. Text field. Uh, we need text field for entering the values here, right? We do need it. What's the point of having an app without a text field? Without. So this is the way I like it. Uh, yeah, don't forget to clear the constraints. Clear the constraints and add missing constraints again so that it fits in. So yeah i just told you what uh, exactly we will be doing and uh, i'll walk you through the main brain code i have here see now guys uh, i'm a bit of no eyes and uh, a very a very bit of experience on ios so you might have a better way of doing it but uh, here is my way i'll just get it from my old file Now I uh, did walk you through uh, this is double function from uh, my last video so do check it out that is important so I will just copy this uh, I appreciate your waiting so here is my main brain code what this perform calculation function does is it will take uh, three arguments as input okay it is taking a uh, f input it is taking t input and uh, it is a num input and uh, giving out string so f is a string t is a string so f is from input which means that uh, what kind of unit we are converting from and 2 is similarly it is uh, in which unit we are converting to and number is the text field number which we input like if we add 5 dollars then we will be converting it to five dollars uh, $5 INR so that's how it works and it will be returning a string so here is if uh, yeah I break it into if and else if statement so if uh, f is equal equal to t then it will return don't be dumb because uh, you cannot con convert dollar to dollar so yeah that's not possible now it's here for dollar to Indian rupees Indian rupee to dollar now the only trick here uh, it's just simple i just uh, pitched in this numbers from google so that's easy but the only trick for you need to go through is from celsius and fahrenheit or uh, you should use the actual formula because uh, for negative numbers and all that stuff it might mess up and this is a round function which uh, rounds your decimal digits uh, yeah so but uh, into uh, multiplying it by 100 and dividing it by 100 uh, assures that it stays still uh, two decimal digits so and uh, this is just error checking but yeah still we need to have an else statement so it's there I think we can break it boo is not needed yeah we can so let's do this now okay we cannot break uh, be it okay <laughs> uh, yeah here it is so anyways uh, so let's get into the code uh, open this uh, this is assistant editor and uh, what you need is you need to open your um, storyboard along with it open your storyboard uh, click on the scene open assistant editor now you need to have the relevant file don't forget to see that it should mention this main view controller and okay where did i paste it if it's not here then where is it okay right now i'm here and 
okay what is this uh, i don't know this sometimes does not work so we just go to here and select this so here we are again so these are the functions we just added and uh, guys uh, this whole code uh, about this app uh, is on github i will uh, link it in my description okay so uh, let's get started hmm okay first um, yeah uh, c uh, press control drag uh, yeah uh, first click on this press control and drag it here this is my from segment Uh, do the same for the two segment click it drag it two segment um, Here is my text field you need text field too. So do the same again Now name it text field and Yeah, if you remember we have a label here too and we need to use it to display results so again drop it and this will be our main label uh, yeah it can be label just label or main label I like it main label anyways <laughs> choice now uh, I just walked you through the code now uh, okay uh, let's just do one thing uh, okay. we need to declare four variables now this variables uh, each represent this cell okay this is cell and yeah one more thing uh, segments are index based so if we want to in uh, access this first element what we do is we tell swift that we want index zero yeah uh, you know that indexing starts from zero in any programming language i i cannot assure any but i have been working with python and swift so yeah this both starts indexing at zero so yeah variable uh, and uh, make sure of your naming convention so that you don't mess up from segment segment index one so this is easy to understand so and, and uh, I'm initializing it to string uh, just go and copy this will be index two uh, now you know why I am doing this is because this this uh, segments value depends on the previous scenes selection so basically if you select temperature it has to be Celsius and Fahrenheit if you select length uh, it has to be meter and centimeter so yeah now let's do the same for two segment and yeah it will be one two and copy again uh, and two sure and uh, segments have a function uh, we can what we can do is uh, we can use that function and now I'll just as I need full screen okay from segment this is my segments name from segment segment dot uh, set title okay why is it not showing it's my okay I have done FRMO so yeah do take care of the stuff from segment dot set title set title is the function okay now what uh, we are doing here is we are setting it to string uh, so what will be the string it will be uh, first it will be for index one from segment index one uh, at index zero obvious right pretty obvious copy this thing paste it here this will be at index two and okay uh, and this will be one let's do the same for two segment uh, let's write Two segment dot set title uh, string will be two segment at index okay we got two ones anyways let's just get rid of this first and 
name it to two two and uh, let's do this again now I don't know what the problem is why is it not getting green and blue and the things okay anyways let's do segment index one so yeah uh, this has worked so what this will do is uh, whenever we load the second screen it will reinitialize on our previous scene selections so if we will select uh, temperature, it will be Celsius and Fahrenheit. If we select length, it will be centimeters and meters. Easy, right? So uh, now let's go to the our main view controller. Uh, it is the first one. And uh, the function we use is called Segway. Um, a weird thing, but yeah, it's Segway. I don't know, heard it first time, but anyways. Select your first scene. We need to drag our this one, uh, this uh, segment. Now this will be our type segment, as uh, this allows us to select type. <laughs> Pretty obvious. Now let's prepare for segue, and uh, remember it should be inside this class. Okay, other otherwise it will be useless. So do take care of it. View controller and uh, okay just type prepare for segue and it will show up and it will just fill in your code now okay now what we do is we get a constant uh, name it your second screen or anything but i like mean i will say destination destination scene okay and this will be of type uh, our uh, second view controller which is main view controller equals to segue dot uh, destination view controller as and now uh, I don't know uh, but uh, sometimes it works just as but I have to put this exclamation uh, which is called downcasting or something but uh, yeah here it is and again the view controller so yeah and the error is for not using this anywhere now what i will do is my uh, my doings my tricks will be on uh finding out what segment i am on so type in type segment uh, we will be switching it switch type segment dot selected segment index now this says uh it will be zero one two yeah we have only three fields okay so yeah uh let's start building cases case zero now here is the thing if you just pay attention on one thing you will be no uh you will get to know what i'm doing just type destination scene dot and here it is from segment index one now this was a string if you remember for setting our first um, element of our next scene's first segment okay and equal to now if you remember k0 but i don't remember k0 is temperature currency and length so we need celsius and all that stuff and so let's sell cs and uh, same thing destination scene dot from segment Two, and this will be Fahrenheit. Fahrenheit, H E I T, and uh, you can just let's not copy it. You can type in destination scene dot two segment index one equals to Fahrenheit and uh, destination scene to segment index 2 is celsius celsius uh, now okay okay now we will have case 1 um, and uh, right now you can copy this thing 
okay keep it copied and make this a second one was um if we remember it was currency so i will put in indian rupee indian rupee uh dollar again dollar now um okay this is the trick Uh, don't forget to name it same because the function we are using uh, takes in uh, the string and it uh, knows what to calculate by your strings so if you name it different swift has no way to know what you want length will be meter this will be centimeter centimeter again centimeter and meter okay so uh, uh, we need a default case uh, as you know that a sw uh, swift switch must be exhaustive so there uh, swift uh, switch should have each and every case so i think we are done uh, good if you like my videos don't forget to hit like comment and subscribe